Hey everyone, and welcome back to Community Builds. A little bit late this week due to the uh, yeah, the heat wave, <laughs> but oh well, we are here now. I was going to do the uh, new intro thingy that Dusty Red made, but since I'm late this week, I just thought I'd quickly jump into it. So, oops, I meant to go through the description. Ooh, that's kind of lag. So, this is an F250-1978 pre-runner, excuse me, by Dasmashi. It's cool, which it is. <laughs> uh, take no credit for the suspension and chassis, that goes to Tison. to make a Ford 78 for the body. Okay. Wanna drive, but there's a collision, so it's causing some lag. Okay. And there's a duck. Break the hood to see compact in it. Oops, I didn't want to spawn another one. Okay. So, um, lag. I'm not sure where yet. But, it has a nice, uh, independent front. It's like a thrilling career with sway bars. Well, that's a different way of doing it. Okay. I've never seen it like a, a bracket around the axle like that. That's cool. Just in U joints too, they're like Heims, but with like a joint kind of setup, I guess. Exhaust in there. Hood. Set the hood come by. I don't feel like trying to take it off. I'm trying to find where the leg is, though. I'm not sure where the leg might be. The duck turns! What's up with the duck? Yeah, staying the same direction all the time now. It's really weird. It's cool. This is fun. But I can't see where the collision would be. And in my opinion, it looks a bit more like a Bronco than a uh, F-250. Just because of the way the front grille is, but the rest of it looks like a 250. See, while I'm driving, I can't figure out where... The uh, issue is with the collision. Oh. The way the wheels properly go in the fenders and whatnot. It's not a really good way to put that. Watching the suspension cycle and the tires get stuffed in the fenders. I guess. Like so. Just looks really cool on this because normally in scrap you don't get to see the wheel actually in the wheel well. But with mods, you do. But the collision, I don't know where the collision would be. Could be the wheel. I don't know. Could be a few things. I find it funny that I'm focusing on trying to get rid of the lag and not like actually looking at the truck. I just realized that. 
Okay, either way. Um, the front looks really good. I like how the chassis pokes through how the bumper should. And grill with the lights just kind of tucked in. What'd you use for the grill? That looks really cool. Looks like a grill and a plate. That's probably a lot of glitch welding right there. This whole thing is probably a lot of glitch welding. Like, this probably isn't the right texture. But, it just looks really good. And it handles really good. But, I can't figure out what that issue. So, I don't know. And the roof even goes around the cage. Too. I like that. It looks good. It looks like an F-250. Okay, that there looks really good. Okay, I don't know what else to say about it. It's really early in the morning and I'm tired. <laughs> like I said, I don't know really what to say. I'm really tired and kind of doing this in the middle of the week instead of on Sunday when I normally do it. Um, next is a realistic, classic Range Rover gas drive. Classic style Range Rover. It's a lemon, but they looked pretty good. The classic Range Rovers weren't, well, this one might be a lemon, but the original ones in kept in good condition are still incredible for off-roading and like traveling and stuff. But most of them probably are lemons now. <laughs> uh, we can switch the wheel as the engine. Okay, but left, right, forward. Oh, on. Okay, yeah, yeah. Do some of the technical stuff. Yep, remove the back part of the seats for less glitching. Okay, so it's like that one before. Okay, so here it is. I like how you use the four lights to get the big round one. Because in real life, the, uh, the Range Rover is a huge headlight. Actually, it actually looks really good. Especially for being vanilla. Straight axis front and back, proper steering. Turn signal and taillight, I'm assuming. Usable storage. I do believe it should be right hand drive, though, not left. It is might need to be over here. But either way, I'm going to remove that really quick just to flag door. And <laughs> your idol's a little high. Off we go. We'll just kind of go down there and back. But the, what they do is, I think it might be Soylent Green or Stealthy Green, not Soylent Green. Wow, that's from a movie. Uh, Stealthy Green makes these, I believe. And as you can see, it is. Oops. You drive it realistically. I'm not in a seat using WASD. I'm actually using. Oh uh, no! Actually using buttons on a steering wheel to uh. Oops. No. I'm actually using buttons on a steering wheel so I can turn and whatnot. I'm just kind of stuck in the back now. Try and get back up there. Uh, they've done an H series from Bean. They did a the my car, my summer car, car. I forget what that is at the moment. They did the uh, the moped from my summer car. I think my summer car has the Satsuma. But um, they've done a few, a bunch, even a transport truck, and. Each one just gets better and better. And they're so much fun. 
I'd like to see people try and drive around, like, Scrap City, like this. I guess I should turn it on. There we go. <laughs> it's really cool. And really easy to drive. At first, they were kind of hard, but now... And it has pretty good articulation, too. For what it is. Doesn't need to have a lot. The back might be a bit stiff, but needs to be for cargo. That's really fun. If you like this kind of thing, I recommend downloading this one too. I recommend downloading all of their vehicles because these are, like I said, a lot of fun. But for now, I'm going to move on to the next one. I don't know what else to say about it. This one might not work, and if it doesn't, I have to load the other one. Because... mod issue. Yeah, okay, so this one they took out the gears, I think? No description. Okay, so yeah, this is by Dusty Red. And I believe it was supposed to be, like, a proper gears and differential and whatnot, but the gear mod they were using broke. So we have a realistic independent looking suspension, and it does look really good, really realistic. Because normally for an A-arm, you would have a wider lower one, and then your spring would attach either in the middle or off to the side ever so slightly, and then your upper arm would go around your uh, coil or your strut. This is probably one of the most accurate suspensions I've seen. Just for quick looking and like realistic looking. Handles pretty good too. That engine sounds cool. <laughs> I like that one. Which one is that? Which stage is that? Okay. But yeah, there's not really much to look at on this. It just, it looks good. And it handles good. So yeah. If you're looking at for how to make a good looking independent suspension, here you go. I have tutorials on how to make it work, but this is how to make it look good. Definitely. But there's not much to it, so I am going to move on. Yep. As you can see, the mount just kind of folds under there. So. So. What is. Okay. My game might be messing up really bad right now. Or that's meant to be invisible. But I'm hoping it's my game messing up and not you trying to hide stuff. What is that? I am so confused at what is going on right now. Yeah, there it is. What are you doing here? That goes to that, which goes to there. Okay, let's watch the actual... Yeah! I'm so confused right now. So you used invis... Okay, I'm guessing you used invisible pipes for the actual geometry. And then like... Low to no collision ones for how it looks. 
Okay, that's different. That had that. I'm. I don't know. I'm not gonna say for sure, but that's really confusing, and it has my brain like, okay. But next is a Mustang P51 by somebody. This is actually my favorite color plate, believe it or not. I used to have a little model of one too. And I don't know why it's my favorite, it just always has been. So I've always really liked the look of it. But uh, the description is just the controls. Okay. Let's get going. Depends on it, it sounds like. Here, fold out. That's cool. This looks really good. Oh, and it's vanilla. So there's no wings or anything. This is just thrusters. Okay. Should be interesting. How do I get in? <laughs> this should be interesting. How do I get in? Oh, jeez. Um, so the seat is there, but I don't see any buttons or anything. Oh, there we go. Just a little hole. Wow, that's narrow. Okay, so that's... Uh, Sounds kind of cool. Oops. Whoa. It's up. Shoot. That's landing gear. Okay, this is going to take a second to get figured out, but it's just uh, point this way. Hit four, five. Oops, I turned off three. This sounds funny. Seven, there we go. There we go. Wow. What happens if I hit five? We fall. Oh god. Oh no 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 no. Ooh, big stall. Ryan. Turn. Without crashing too bad. Oh. I can't figure out these controls. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's not how you fly a plane. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, that's uh, that's not good. I wonder where it's gonna go now. You <laughs> can still see it, just kind of. Oh no. I'm about to. Oh, it hit the wall. I was falling. Is it just gonna stay there? Oh jeez, I wasn't expecting this to happen. <laughs> okay, that's uh... What am I gonna use? Maybe I could use another one to go get it? Uh, just gonna use another one to go get that one. <laughs> Off we go, I guess. Four and five. Seven. Eight. There we go. Oh crap. That's better. It whoa flies weird because thrusters. But yeah. I'm just gonna go get this other one. This is kinda hard to fly. Where'd the other one go? Is it like... Run? Nope, it's over there against the wall. We're going a little bit more. Uh-oh. Yeah, good enough. Alright, I will run over to the other one really quick. Uh, check out the outside of it a little bit more. Because I wasn't done with it. Yep. 
This is a good thing I put those uh, beacons down. I'm glad they put those in the game. Okay, so yeah. Actually looking at the engine, it has proper exhaust on the side. Excuse me. For being vanilla, it has proper looking exhaust on the side and like a prop. That looks like a plant pot. Two really good looking wings. Like, these actually look like the proper wings. All of it looks proper, really. Got spud guns tucked in there. It's really cool. I like this. I'd like to see what you can do with mods, but just because I don't like the way planes handle using thrusters. So I'd be cur I'd be really curious to see what you can do with mods and actually use like wings and flaps and stuff. But if you like planes and can handle this better than I can, I highly recommend it. So it's really cool. And flying through the sky, this would be really, really cool if someone could actually fly it properly. I guess I could if I took the time, but yeah, you know what? Let's go back to main area. It's really quick. So I want three, four, five, seven. Try and do this. Nope. Crashing already. <laughs> I think I'm trying to turn too sharp. It handles really weird. Go to a barrel roll, probably flip, like push itself into the ground. Okay, and down we go! <laughs> That's awesome. It's really hard for me to fly this thing, but I, I enjoy it nonetheless. Not used to. Thrusters work better for. I don't know. I've never really been able to get things to fly very well with thrusters. They're not very good at controlled flight. There's no air or anything in this game. It's just forward thrust. So it's. But either way, next is a vanilla tank by Mr. T. Uh, 9 FPS. Okay. Hopefully that doesn't happen for me, but either way, uh, typical controls, mm, I'm guessing two switches control modes from the tank to the turret. It's shoot, reloading is hard. Spawn it again. So you need to bring Interesting. Anyways, let's see. It uh, <laughs> it reminds me of of building tanks on Banjo Kazooie. That's what this. I've I've been wondering what this metal texture reminds me of. This re it's like the metal block on Banjo Kazooie nuts and bolts. If I can remember, I can like put a picture up on the screen somewhere. But this is just like the metal block from Banjo Kazooie nuts and bolts, and I miss that game so much. Someone stole my Xbox. I had an RGH. Whoa, lag. I had an RGH Xbox and was playing around with modding Banjo Kazooie since it's kind of past its date. And yeah, someone stole my Xbox. So, anyways, this is really cool. All right, so it's not so bad once it goes to sleep. What's with the bombs? Like, it actually explodes. Kind of scared. Alright, so. Driving. Not bad. Proper look and seating position. He's in speed. It handles properly. What is that? I'm so confused. Does like the whole turret move up or something? I have a feeling it launches those bombs. Oop. Typical scrap mechanic tank issue. Doesn't want to turn on controls. Not a problem with the creation. It's a problem. Just even though we can do so much in this, it's still so limited. 
but I am going to... Now I'm going to back up a little bit right here. So one was lights, two was the turret. Three was fire. Those bombs are catching inside. Not letting it turn. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I kind of like the effect. But... The, uh... I don't know if it's really a good idea to be dropping bombs inside the tank. That's gonna blow up soon. Is that enough to make it blow up? No, Christ. Bombs! <laughs> I don't play around with the bombs enough in this. But yeah, that is the, uh... Tank Vanilla 4. So I guess just the, the fourth vanilla tank. And I enjoy it. It has a neat little... Firing sound. It sounds like it only goes off twice for each of these. I'm not quite sure what the explosive tanks are for inside. It's kind of weird. Like, that whole thing is there. Really weird. I don't know. So it looks like it should move or something. Like, the whole thing should move up. That's probably why it has so much lag, is that whole thing in the middle there. Because it looks like it should move up, but doesn't. I'm just curious, where's the controller for it? Is it moved up? It is! So that could be creating a lot of your lag right there, is moving the turret up that way. You don't really need to. And your stuff inside's getting stuck. <laughs> but next is... I think this is the last one, too. Yeah. Alright, so last up is IMC Emperor RR. It's by is 5 fo and I'm guessing it's one of the next ones in your personal line, I will call it. The, uh, the line of vehicles you were making. Let's, let's check it out. Already looks really interesting. There's no description, so I'm just gonna go off what I can. RR, I'm guessing... Oh my god. Really? Yeah, so I'm guessing RR is basically like Rolls Royce. But your take on it, I guess. I really like how people are doing the uh, the sunroof with the line like that. The light. It's really good. Oh my god. We've even got the drink thing about it. It's really laggy. One more second. Go. Okay. Let's jump up on top. <laughs> yep, you got your drink and glasses. I guess that would be like champagne. Entertainment, center consoles. Wow. I'm surprised. I'm not really surprised, I'm impressed. It's like struts with air ride. It's cool. Ooh, I can see through your floor. Some panels for that. Exit pipe exhaust. That would sound really good in real life. This car in real life would sound so good. What the? Um. I hate to do this. But. Yeah. Uh, 
guys? Is that like supposed to be a V two three a V ten? But like on its side? I am so confused with that engine right now. Pull it out too, apparently. Oh, okay, yeah, it rotates up to be normal. That makes sense. Okay. That's cool. I just couldn't tell because it was on the lift, so it wasn't rotating. So we shall ignore the fact that the engine is on its side. Because when it loads in, it goes normal. <laughs> Yeah, that's everything under it, so let's check out the interior a bit more. Got a nice looking dash, it's like an automatic. I like in the back, gauges and stuff. It's got uh, lights for the turn signals. Should let me in. Oops, wrong button. Oh no, it's lagging again. There go. Oh, it looks like the uh, the dash is glowing pink too, like some of the roof. I like the accent lighting, it looks cool. But... A good sound for it too, the sun's really cool. Until the super high RPM. The idle sounds really cool. Your lights aren't quite working right, but that could just be an issue with the game itself. Those are weird looking headlights. I haven't seen those before. So that's like the headlights are... Okay, so that's the normal lights. Turn signal. That looks cool. Uh, it's kind of flashing light there. That's interesting. Okay. Whoa! Oh, the hood comes off this one. That's cool. Alright, so let's, uh... Get rid of that. There we go, there's how the engine's supposed to look. That looks really cool. I really like that. Looks really good. Just in there and move the caster back. That's a good way to do that, actually. Other than it's going to put some weird forces on it, that's a really good way to do that. Got your. Wow. Okay. It pivots even on an angle. This might handle kind of weird, actually. But let's see. It looks like it should be fine, but okay, guys. That's a different way of doing it. Okay. Yeah, it actually handles pretty good. I'm nice. I'm not surprised now that I actually took a better look. I thought it uh, had a bearing on the bottom, but it doesn't. This is cool. A really nice, big luxury car. Like a two-door Rover Rice. Oh, it's got a wheel steer, too. I didn't even realize that. Okay. Wasn't expecting the rear, the rear steer at all. <laughs> Oh jeez, okay. I don't really know what else to check out on it. What else to say about it? It looks good, and if you're looking for a nice luxury car to have around, drive now and then if your computer can handle it, I definitely recommend checking this out. It handles really good, it looks good. It's like 
a perfect luxury car for the game. It really is. If you use mods and don't mind black. Yeah, I like it. It's cool. It's not quite my thing. I'm not into ah. I'm not into luxury cars myself, but that's what we're into. I highly, highly recommend downloading that. The tank I'm a little confused with, how it works. <laughs> Just like why the bombs and stuff are in it the way they are. P-51, like I said, the P-51D is my favorite prop plane. I don't know why, it just has been. Oh. Stick looking wishbone. This has some trickery to it. There's some hidden stuff on this. Can't see. And it's kind of funny. But it makes it kind of laggy how you did it. So I don't really know. Um, ooh. hopefully that horn wasn't too loud on the mic. Someone honking outside. As I said, the the Land Rover is really good. If it uh, ah, I'm trying to figure out where to put that. Especially if you have the other ones, I highly recommend you download that one. It adds to like a little perfect little scrap suit. That'd be a lot of fun. But, for now, well, I guess I shouldn't miss off that trophy truck. With it being the chassis by t and then the body by, I believe, this mesh. Yes. It come to, came together to make a really cool looking truck. It looks to me, like I said before, like a mix between a bit more of like a Bronco front end on an F-250 body. And to me, that looks really cool. I like little mashups like that. But for now, actually, really quick on the Bronco thing, I saw a picture of a like a '70s Bronco with the new interior in it, Bristol mod, and it looked really cool. I think Doug Miro wrote it. But either way, that is it for this week. Um, there was like 12 messages in total for community builds, but I think most of them, or half of them, ended up being duplicates or like an update or something so this is what i ended up coming up with if i missed something that isn't like one of these that is up there or multiple like some patty uploaded like three different things you're only supposed to upload one but either way <laughs> i hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching